What's up, besties? Hello, bestie bitches! Anyways, um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Scribbles, the artist and crocheter behind Eclectic Scribbles, and this is a new convention vlog. We are headed to South Carolina Comic Con. If I ever get through this one lane of traffic dealio that's happening in front of me, I got a bop bop in the back, chilling. He's chilling. He was excited to put his vest back on and get going. Um, but yeah, we are headed to South Carolina Comic Con. My freaking new camera is out for delivery. Out for delivery. And it is three and a half hours to get to the convention center in Greenville that I need to get to. And I waited as long as I possibly could. And then I probably still should have left earlier because there's traffic and stuff. But it says I'm at. I'm going to get there about 545 six ish and then hopefully they have a big enough lot um for unloading that i don't have to wait in a ridiculous line to get in and then i can set up two hours tonight and two hours in the morning so they will open the doors at seven o'clock in the morning which is butt crack of dawn for me but i am yay we're moving uh <laughs> in 1.2 miles Turn right to I-40 West, I-85 South toward Greensboro. Thank you. I'm going to turn you off for now. No, no sounds. Go away sounds. Is this a touch screen? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know how to turn her off. Can't, my nails are in the way. Can I knuckle it? Okay, sound on, sound off. Bam. Let's do this while driving. It's totally safe. Somebody told me in a comment that I shouldn't vlog and drive and i'm like one my eyes are on the road when i'm moving i glance over to you just to make sure i'm still recording every now and then but how is it any different than me talking to the person in the passenger seat are you gonna sit here and tell me not to talk to my passenger that's just never gonna happen so i'm sorry you feel that way you're entitled to your opinion but i'm gonna vlog in the car if i fucking want to vlog in the car anyways so moving forward so yeah, it is 2.30 now, almost. It's 2.25 now, and <laughs> I really should have left earlier, but I was so hoping that I would catch the FedEx truck. And I know as soon as I get on the highway here, the freaking FedEx truck is gonna pull up in my yard and it's gonna be delivered, and I'm gonna be like, bitch. But anyways, I got my nails done yesterday. You can barely see them. They're like a silver, they're like a silver, um, silver silver sparkly glittery thing i don't really love them but it's done now so um the it just it looked better on the it looks better on the little fake nail swatchy thing that they had than it does on my fingers and i guess with my complexion but you know um, I have gel polish, which I'll probably take this polish off and do my own gel polish once I get back to the house on Monday. But we're just going to go with it for now. You know, Bubby is going to sit in the back seat until he finally lays down. Um, let's see. I have never done this convention before. So this is the first time at this convention for me. I have seen some other people do fairly well at this convention, which is great. God, I'm glad I'm not going the other way because they are backed up. So this weekend, we have got two eight-foot artist alley tables rather than a booth set up because I booked this table like a year ago, like a year ago. And I thought I was, you know, really saying something by having two artist alley tables considering the only convention I had done thus far would have been the galaxy con richmond convention from last year at which point i had that dingy little six foot table that we've talked about in a previous vlog so we are doing two eight foot artist alley tables i have got um the one table for my art and one table for the crochet plushies i have about two thousand dollars worth of inventory that i made in the past three weeks um we are not even going the speed limit we're not even close to the speed limit we're like 10 miles under the speed limit so i don't understand what is going on here but anyways um yeah i've got about two thousand dollars worth of stock from 
last convention, which was Richmond, I had probably a couple hundred, few hundred dollars worth of inventory left over from that convention as far as plushies were concerned. So we're looking at maybe the $2,500 range when it comes to the amount I could possibly sell if I sell out. Um, for this convention on the crochet side, which is not great, is not great. I really would prefer to have a lot more, um, generally speaking, if I wanted to make $2,500 off of my plushies, I would consider having $5,000 worth of inventory for the plushies because you just kind of want to double what you plan to make. So, I think that is going to put a lot of our uh, focus on the art table, however, which I have, you know, plenty more inventory for. So, we've got prints, we have got some mini originals, including the new um, mini originals that I just did. I just did eight new mini originals this week. So, I, that's $240 because those sell for $30 each. I, bought some, I brought some supplies with me to do art. Um, while I'm sitting there, whether it be digital or traditional, like mini originals for this weekend, I thought I might do a couple of little cute mini originals because of the fact that I know that I don't have that much crochet stuff at my table. And if I'm doing digital art, then I'm working on art for the future and not maybe working on art that could possibly sell in the same weekend. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we'll see how I feel. Uh... But I do have art, I have prints, I have my new pins, I have got my existing pins, I have, uh, what else do I have? Um, mini originals, uh, the keychains, I bought some little command strip hook dealios to do the keychains up properly this time, so I have set aside space for that. I bought a new display rack for my mini originals because I thought that the displays that I currently have weren't really doing the things behind the first one justice because people did flip through them on occasion, but this should make it better to see. And when I, when you see the display rack set up, you'll understand that I grossly underestimated how large this thing is. And I am so glad that I went with this one instead of trying to wait for the more expensive one because if this is how big this fucking thing is, then the $60 one was going to be a little bit too crazy, <laughs> even for me. And I'm not sure what I would have done with it. But, um, so we've got a nice new display rack. I have got my vending machine which is great. And in that $2,500 worth of stuff, it does not include any of the minis that go in the vending machine. So the stuff in the vending machine is completely separate from that. And I've got like 20, 25 things that can be put into the vending machine for people to win um, or something like that. So that's great. Um, I do have the two gotchas that have enamel pins in them. So I've got that. Uh, I think that's about it as far as uh, my tables are concerned. Oh, I have the t-shirts. I do have t-shirts. I debated as to whether or not I was going to put those up, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, we're just going to go ahead. I'm not going to put the sweatshirts up. I think I'm going to take the sweatshirts to online only for right now until I work on some new designs. And if you want any of my apparel, you'll get more designs in the online shop than you will anywhere else. So I think I may wait till winter, fall, fall fall comes back around before I bring back out the sweatshirts even though I'm sort of a I like long sleeves on me all the time because my arms get cold kind of person um if you want long sleeve hoodie type apparel or sweatshirt type apparel those are going to be on the website 24 7. let's see what else yeah I did not bring anything <laughs> anything to crochet with this go round, which is completely unusual for me, completely against the, it's just the opposite of everything that I do because um, I didn't want to put that stress on myself. To tell you the honest truth, it is a little bit stressful to be standing there and making stuff. And you know what? I was just like, no, this is what we've got. If you see it, this is the stock that we have. We don't have anything else. So if you see something you like, I can promise you that this and this and this are going to sell out. So grab it while you can. Um, 
kind of dilly. So that's what we're going to do for this weekend. And I'm going to do some art. I feel like here recently I have focused 80% on crochet. I think I just spit. So, oops, sorry. Um, I think I've focused like 80% on crochet and like 20% on my art. And I have been feeling super... words, words. I have been jonesing, fiending, you know, fiending for some art time. And so I feel like if I just left that shit at home and it was like, well, if I run out of chickens, I run out of chickens. Or when I run out of chickens, I'm out of chickens. Or when I run out of opossums, I'm out of opossums. And just say to hell with it. It takes a little bit of pressure off of me because then I can interact with my customers a little bit more maybe. And then I can just sit down and I can just draw some art. And people can watch me draw art instead of just me crocheting stuff. And plus it is a lot less for me to um, sort of take back and forth with me to the room, from the room, to the room, from the room. So I'm like, yeah, we're just going to let it be what it is. And that's that. So that's different this, this, this time. Oh, I just, I just glitched. <laughs> um, so yeah, the only thing that I'm going to have to take back and forth with me, possibly, is going to be my big purple bag that I carry my um, iPad and my um, my MacBook back and forth in, and uh, the battery, which I grabbed something at Walmart yesterday, which is going to make transport and the battery back and forth so much easier. Um, because I'm just going to strap that bitch onto it and then we're going to roll with it. I'm not going to try and load 50 things into a suitcase to go back and forth um, to the hotel in the evenings. It's just not worth it um, for me. So I'm just going to chillax when I get back to the to the hotel room. I also used to have that um, have the big suitcase because I would, this is what I would transport. I would transport my square terminal. I would transport my battery, which I mean, don't get me wrong, is a huge, huge battery because it has to be able to put out the amount of power that it needs to run actual machinery. So it's a huge ass battery and that damn thing is heavy. And then I would also transport back and forth my cash register box and my iPad and any and all other electronics that I keep in my little my little box over here. So that includes like my mini battery packs, my other camera stuff, um, and all my cords and things like that. Mm -mm. Your girl ain't doing this shit no more because it, especially with Bubba and trying to, in most cases, have to go down steps or up steps. Um, is just not is just not worth it for me to, to take all that stuff back and forth. So what I am gonna do is I've got my uh, my motorcycle bag on my hip that I usually wear on my motorcycle, and I used to carry it as a purse all the time. And I had just set it down because my stitch bag was so cute. Um, it's a little less in your face than um, a purse is that says, "Hey, come and steal my purse" or whatever. Um, it's strapped to my thigh and to my waist, so it ain't going anywhere. And I can have it on my body all day long without even paying any attention to it. So I'm not going to forget it going one way or the other. I, it's always going to be on my person. So I'm just going to take the, the money out of my money box at the end of the day, throw that bitch in my motorcycle bag, and, and just go. So, the only thing, and that is if I use more than 50% of my power. If I do not use more than 50% of my powder, uh, power on Saturday, I'm not taking the battery either. I did go to Walmart yesterday, like I said, and I got the little hand truck that I will use if needed because it folds down flat into like nothing. Um, but I also got myself a big bike lock so that I can strap um, that battery pack to the table so that if I left it, it ain't going nowhere. Um, 
So I will be strapping that to the table. I will be emptying out my cash register box and taking, taking everything with me on my person at night. And I have one other battery, which I think I'm gonna charge um, overnight tonight. And I'm gonna run my um, iPad off of it for checkout and stuff. I'm gonna run my iPad off of it. And I say this because when I had my iPad and everything, um, when I when I had my iPad and everything um, all hooked into my power box, my power box did tend to use more than 50% in a day, depending. So if I have my smaller battery pack and my larger battery pack, then there's no way I think that I should have to Place, um, replace and recharge the battery overnight on Saturday. And those were extremely, extremely busy conventions. Like, I don't know how busy this convention is going to be because I haven't experienced it personally, but I have a hard time thinking that it's going to be at the level that um, GalaxyCon was and that LexCon was because it is, yeah, the that was the biggest one that I've done so far. Anyways, those are the things. Those are the new things. Those are the old things. It's like people don't even want to move today. Can we just go the speed limit? I would be happy with the speed limit. Anyways, I'm a very get out of my way kind of driver. How are you? Because <laughs> I'm a very get the fuck out of my way kind of driver. If you can't go the speed limit, then there is a specific lane for you and that's the right-hand lane. It is definitely not the ticket money lane, and it is definitely not the second lane. It's the right-hand lane over there. There's four lanes of traffic. You should be far right if you cannot go the speed limit. <laughs> this one, the left is ticket money lane. The right is you've got all day and nowhere to be lane because I have somewhere to be and I would like to get there on time and not be constantly losing minutes because we can't do the speed limit over here. Anyways, um, I will update you guys when I get to the convention and we'll go from there. I love your faces. Welcome to a new vlog. I will talk to you later. Goodbye. All right, you guys, day one of loading um, did not go as well as expected but that's okay so we've got this up for the most part i've got to put the t-shirts up tomorrow and the keychains i've got to set up plushies and then i've got two carts right here that i can put the cups on and i think i might bring one more of these in in the morning for the rest of the stuff but we've got to get out of here in seven minutes so i just put everything up and we are gonna go and check into the hotel room and then i will talk to you about setup and why it looks like it does but check this out cafe exit come out of the cafe and here we are so maybe our placement wasn't as bad as it seemed all right you guys let's do room tour so this is where you come in here's our bed this could serve as a bed if it needed to. Bubba's having some difficulties. Um, he actually ate though. Um, this is looking the other way. So there's my clothes and that's my electronics box. So a lot less carried in, that is for sure. I have got my one battery box up here charging. I have got my main power source right here charging. We're gonna do bathroom tour. Hi. Got a nice shower. Nice shower. So yeah. Got a little mini fridge. Little microwave. Little coffee pot. Alright. I am going to talk to you guys in just a second. Okay. So. I'll settle down in the room. Bubba is finally on the bed. I had to help him. He says that the beds here are way too high for him. Anyways, so, okay. Load in would have gone great if I had not tried to wait on my package today. 
Oh my goodness. So I was a little flustered. It takes me about 45 minutes or so to unload my trailer and stuff. Um, on a normal, on a normal day. But I was trying to get by with only bringing what I needed to in first and then seeing where I was at. Um, which didn't work out great because then I had to go back. I was trying to find my second purple tablecloth and it was with me the whole time just buried up under all the plushies in the bin. So, as you have seen, I did not get much of anything done. I've got two hours in the morning to get things done and I'm going to be there about 640, 645, something like that because I want to be ready and in line when those doors open up at 7 a.m. So I have the full two hours to set up. I need to bring in my game machine. I need um, to bring in, I think I wanna bring in another set of the shelves so that I can use that as storage. Um, and I need to bring in some of the items that are in my, in the, the bed of my truck. So, and then of course I need to bring in my electronics. So we have that. So there's still a few things that I need to bring in. Not a ton of stuff, but enough stuff, I guess. Um, I think that I can get things set up. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with my location because I honestly, I'm going to rest, I'm going to rest you guys on Bubba. I was honestly worried about my location because we are literally facing the back wall of the convention and we were in row in between rows 300 and 400 because we're on that back wall um in in both of the spaces available so we're in between 300 and 400 um at the back so we're also all the way in the back corner of the venue um which sucks a bit but the good news, is you'll have seen it, you'll have seen it. The good news is anybody who goes to the cafe to eat will have to come out of the cafe exit, which is literally facing my booth. Like, that's the only exit, and you're going to be smacking the face with my beautiful creations um, if you come out of the cafe. So, um, feeling a little bit better about my spot not great still, but I am feeling a little bit better. Um, I've got more space than I thought I was going to have. Um, so I am able to space out my cups, which is good. So I am spacing out my cups on the shelving. And then I'm using the second table for plushies and probably my mini originals. And then I am doing the art and stuff on the first table and the vending machines on the first table so that I can, um, this is so uncomfortable, so that I can um, actually see people operate them and hand people the stuff that they need. Um, there is a lot of space in Artist Alley uh, between tables, so I'm not, I'm not really concerned about that. I've got a good couple of few feet behind me um in the center so I'm really not I'm not too bothered about that either um there's a good there's a good amount of traffic area behind whereas some artist alleys you're like touching butts with the people on the op opposite side of you so that was nice oh I'm gonna sit up because this headboard is wood and um that didn't feel good anyways Oh, much better, much better. So, I am going to have to get up and I'm going to have to work in the morning, um, which is not ideal, is not exactly what I wanted to do, but we'll deal. Um, so, I'm going to get those last few things in in the morning and then I am going to move my truck to some parking. Um, there is parking out behind the venue, so I'm hoping that that's where we're parked tomorrow. And if that's the case, then I shouldn't have any trouble with my trailer. Um, so that's what I'm hoping anyways. Um, this venue, you actually drive in 
to the load-in zone. So the load-in zone is actually in the building, um, which was nice. You don't have to worry so much about weather um, at this at this venue. I've never been here before, so that was a, a good little thing to see. Um, I don't have any idea what the weather is supposed to be like this weekend. I'm going to look shortly because it was a little chilly some today, and then it got nice, and then it's chilly again now. But hopefully it's not rainy. Um, like I said, though, if it is rainy, at least you drive in to the thing. So, um, I think they said something about parking is like $5 a day if you get there after 9. And they, they've got their people out and they're out charging for parking. Um, but they seem to think that, you know, you probably get a free space. You just drooled all over that pillow. Um, you can probably get free parking if you're here before 9, which I plan to be. They don't open until 9 on Sunday or 9.30, so, um, I might go a little bit early on Sunday just to get a spot, but otherwise, um, otherwise I don't know. Um, I'm just going to leave my stinking trailer hooked up. Um, that way I have everything with me if I happen to have forgotten something. Um, but I've got to take it with me in the morning because I still have to unload some stuff tomorrow. And so it's going to be there tomorrow. And I have to have it Sunday because I'm checking out of here. And I'll have to have it to unload. So, yeah. There's, I'm just leaving the bitch hooked up. It, it wasn't a bad drive from here to the venue. Um, I think it took, it's, it said it took like nine minutes to get here. But I mean, literally you just turn, make a couple of turns real quick and hop on the interstate and then hop right back off and bam, you're there. So it, it wasn't bad at all. Um, I met one of my YouTube subscribers. Her name is Lisa and she watched the LexCon video this morning. Um, I got to see a little bit of her stuff as I was walking out to go and, um, go out this evening, but I will definitely show you her booth tomorrow. Um, she does crochet as well, and this is her first time at this event too. I don't know if she's done events before, but hey, Lisa, <laughs> it was so lovely to meet you today. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you. Um, me and Bubby, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll say hey to you tomorrow, but I'll definitely stop by your booth when you're, when you're there, so, and I'll show everybody your booth as well, because, I, I mean, I only got to glimpse, because they were like, get the hell out of this building, or we're closing you in, and I was like, I gotta get out, so, um, I really was running back out to the, to the vehicle, because I still had to strap everything back in, so, ugh, anyways. I was rushed, but I turned my head, and I looked, and I was worried about tripping over Bubby and my feet, but I looked, I glimpsed, <laughs> I glimpsed, um, and, and everything was super cute, so I hope you do well this weekend, I hope you have a great weekend, um, I think that's it, me and Bubby are going to turn in probably very, very soon, because we're tired, and, um, we got to get it up at the butt crack of dawn, so, um, I'm going to watch some Tiki Talks. I'm going to call my mom because my mom makes me call her to tell you tell her how things went. And then I'm going to call my husband to see what he's doing. And um, that's going to be that's gonna be a wrap for us for tonight. Um, I had some snacks. I had some snacks earlier. I'm really not hungry. So we're just going to go to bed without ordering. Although I will tell you that I am surrounded by restaurants and they were smelling good. They were smelling really good when we got here. But I'm like, nah. I don't even, I don't even have the energy for that, so, we'll, we we'll probably grab something at breakfast in the morning, and then we will head on out, so, that's all I know, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye-bye, bye besties, bye. say bye, papa, say bye, papa, papa, look, look, what are you doing, look, bubbles, right here, right here, bubbles, it's so stupid, Bubbas, right here. Who's this? Who's this, Bubbas? What well, you got drool hanging out of your face for? Bubbas, why you got drool hanging out of your face? Bubbas, Bubbas, why you got drool hanging out of your face? Look at that. You see that? That's gross. That's gross. Ugh. Ugh. Anybody need a drooly dog? Anybody need a drooly Bubba? <laughs> Oh.
See you tomorrow. All right, friendos. Good morning. It is 6.50 and we are waiting for the next 10 minutes for load in. Apparently, you can get in the doors if you're walking in, but we're not walking in. We are driving in because I need to unload stuff, so I have to wait for them to open the doors, which is fine. So we got two hours this morning to get ready to go. Um, there wasn't a line or anything. I didn't figure there would be first thing in the morning, but I wanted the full two hours to be here. Um, there are some people coming up behind me now, so we'll just have to They'll just, yeah, they're forming a line behind me right now so that uh, they can get in and load in this morning as well. So, yay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put my tote bags on one of my grid walls because I just, I haven't figured out another simple way to do it. So, I'm going to put them on a grid wall on the left side of my tables and we're just going to call it a day because I just can't be bothered to figure out another way last minute to fix them. So I'm gonna unload a shelf, um, a grid, one grid wall, my claw machine, my toolbox, and the little bit of stuff in my back, in my bed. I think that's all. I think that's all I've got left and then I can start just putting things together. So I'm gonna unload everything that I need I'm going to take it over there. Um, I am going to come back, move my vehicle, and get a, a decent parking spot back here. And then I am going to um, come in and set up. So that's the plan anyways. And there is a 30 minute gap between load in and VIP entrance. So technically I have two and a half hours because they don't let the VIPs in until 9.30. Alright you guys, it is really loud. I'm just going to take you around the booth real quick. I don't even know where my price signs are, so Ugh. we're just going to have to make do. There's the mini original. They fit great on that, but again, it's huge. We've got this here. And then this table, which actually looks a little bare. And I kind of hate, but we're just going to have to go with it. And same thing for these. Same thing for these. <laughs> oh shit, hold on. <laughs> We are whooped. We are whooped and I just ordered some dinner, but we had a really good day today. It was it was a really fun day. It was pretty busy. 
I swear I miss Artist Alley sometimes. I, I know that I've got way too much stuff to do Artist Alley, like, on a regular basis. But do I? I mean, not everything is going to have an 8-foot table. And not everything is going to put us in a beautiful spot where we can really sort of stretch out beyond the table just a smidge. Um, and have something in between the two tables. So, yeah. Um, we're not going to get that lucky every time, but I kind of miss Artist Alley a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Um, we had a good day. I think we did a 3,200, 3,200 for today. Um, and I was hoping that we'd do 3,000 for today. So that worked out. So if we could do two for tomorrow, that would be good. However, the plushy table is looking pretty scarce so we'll have to wait and see how that goes because we are out of chickens we are out of possums um i think we're half out of bitch be gones um we ran out of a couple of other little small things so everything moved pretty well today we sold some toes we sold some prints we sold some we sold a slate print we sold a couple of little one-off items over on the plushie table. We sold two of the smaller goblins. My pattern that I'm going to be coming out with. So if you are on my Patreon for this month, for April, you will get that pattern. Um, as soon as I get home and write it up next week. So that is going out to everybody on my Patreon on the $7 tier. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was just a good day. And I am completely beat. Um... My face turned red when we got out of the convention because it was blazing hot outside and I had a sweatshirt on and then we had to sit in traffic a little bit. So, yeah, he did a little bit better. He did a little bit better. He's still nervous, um, which the headphones aren't going to comfort uh, an already nervous dog. So, um, but I think they did help a little because I think he would have been more nervous had I not had his little headphones on. I don't know how much he enjoyed wearing them though. So I did make him his little oh god what is happening? <sighs> yeah, no I'm fine. I did make him a little hidey hole. Um Bubba. I'm trying I am trying to do stuff. I did make him a little did you just sit your butt on my pillow again? Oh my god. Um, I did make him a little hidey hole, which I think also helped him. I'm going to bring his little bed in tomorrow so that it's not as easy for him to come out of. And I think I'm going to give him my sweatshirt from today and put that in his little hidey hole and see if that helps. I mean, what is he going to do? Make my sweatshirt more dirty. And it, so, I'm waiting for my DoorDash order to come in. Um, and then we're going to eat, and then I'm taking my happy butt. Well, I'm going to go bathe my happy butt, and then I'm going to lay my happy ass down for the night after I walk them one last time because, yeah, it's a very long day. My everything hurts. My absolutely everything hurts. So, but yeah, it was a good day. Um, I did get a clip. Yeah, I did get a clip of the aftermath of day one. So, we look forward to a good day, too. So, we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Won't we, Bop Bops? Won't we, Bop Bops? Thank you. You're supposed to say goodbye to them. Ugh. Yeah, that was my... Definitely, definitely gonna bathe. Ugh. Alright, you guys. What's up? Let's see, it is 8.47 a.m. And apparently everybody got here early today. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Anyways, so we tried to get here a little bit early so that we could get into the parking lot without an issue. The, um parking lot people are already here this morning and they have already filled up the back lot so oversized vehicles like me have to park in this overflow parking lot over here and walk a ridiculous amount to get to park 
Although I was told that there wasn't a spot over there big enough for me. And then they let a truck and trailer that was right behind me go into the parking lot over there. So I'm not 100% sure what the fuck that was about. Um, that's going to piss me off a little bit. <laughs> because I've got a dog in tow and shit to carry up. And they're just letting people flood into this thing. And they tell me I can't fit, but then they let a truck and trailer that was directly behind me go over there. So, not making a whole lot of sense there at all. Anyway, we're going to try to have a good day. We're going to try to have a good day. Um, despite the fact that that was bullshit. Anyways, um, yeah. Our goal for today is going to be two grand, but that is going to be a difficult one to hit considering the fact that um, we sold out of most things yesterday on the crochet side. So, we'll see what we could do. We'll see what we could do today. I got plenty of t-shirts. We sell a bunch of t-shirts. Um, we can get going. So, well, we'll see. Did y'all have a good day yesterday? We did. How about you? Yeah, we had a great day. I'm showing off your booth. You're going in the vlog. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> These are Edgar Allan Ho, and they're so cute. Look, it says, I tap that cauldron door. It says Edgar Allan Ho. It's got a little crow with a G string and Edgar Allan Poe in a cute little dress, Jesse dress. We're going to turn around here. Well, to wrap me up but let's look at the day two we move these and space them out a little bit so people could see them i'm getting tugged all over the place so i apologize straighten this up about to turn the machines on restocked the last of the cups that's all we've got left the overstock at the bottom we've got the originals respaced out I put a couple of other things out on this and rearranged it a little bit and then we've got this so I put them over here they're still not very visible I may try to prop them up on the other one of these we'll see we'll see what happens as the day goes on I gotta turn again sorry okay and then this is what's left over here on this one so we're all set up and ready for day two and hopefully it's fantastic like yesterday Whoop. and yours are so detailed like you get in there get in there with them um, Oh my goodness that yeah that's a tiny one i do that too for some reason instead of trying to make like nice bigger shapes and make it a little bit easier on myself i always do the absolute smallest you could possibly fit in forget to do this but we're gonna look at the booth so we did sell out of one of our bags we sold out of a bunch of the different stickers um, we've only got this one pin left or we've only got this one slate print left this is what is left over of our little fishy tanks the gotchas did great I don't know who just pushed this back but 
Anyways, they were straight a minute ago. So this is what's left in the claw machine for now. We'll look at our cups. you guys it is time to recap the South Carolina Comic Con um, I'm gonna start with a couple of things that happened during the video I'm currently editing it right now um, the parking issue on day two I got so pissed off I really did so not one or two or even three but five other trucks and trailers behind me were allowed to go into the parking lot and and park and I was literally sitting over there by myself until that parking lot was at capacity and people had no other choice but to go into the parking lot that I was in I walked up to the attendant and I said in this voice exactly I said excuse me can you explain to me why I was instructed to park over here um, when five other trucks and trailers have gone in to this parking lot right here and parked just fine with no issue and there was a big box truck um, going toward um, the loading dock at the time he's like no man this is going toward the loading dock I said no 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 sir um, I'm talking about the five other trucks and trailers that have parked since I have been here and he got up in my face and started doing this at me and yell listen woman I do not have time to stand here and argue with you he was screaming at me uh you're gonna go where I tell you to go end of story I said how about you go where I tell you to go and that's straight to fucking hell how about that how about you go where I tell you to go and, <laughs> and then I walked away I just walked away I was so pissed off I was seething I was shaking um I was so pissed off at this and my husband's like you know what he, and then the man was probably like 70-ish or whatever, and he had a bad attitude. Um, but my husband goes, I guarantee that everybody in those trucks and trailers that parked behind you were men. And he thought that you, a little woman, couldn't possibly park your truck over there in that parking lot um, or didn't have the skill to do it. I'm like, I don't know what happened, but I was, I was pissed. Pissed off. So... That was that situation. That was a great kickoff to my morning, but I got over it. I got over it once I got inside and everything started happening and the day started going well. We did hit our goals for this weekend. Um, my goals were low for this weekend because of the fact that I knew I didn't have a whole lot of plushies. I am trying to make about $4,700, worth of inventory for the next convention, which is Fayetteville Comic Con in three weeks. If you are going to be in the area and want to come and see me, that would be great. It is, I don't know when it is. Um, it's like the 20 something of the month it is the next to the last weekend in april i believe or the last weekend in, in april um i don't even know when this video is going out so whatever um if you're going to fayetteville comic con come and say hey to me anyways day two went great um everything went smoothly i put bubby in the truck when i came back to um unload and i unloaded fairly quickly i think i mean i i packed down in probably an hour and it hour and a half and it or I packed down in probably an hour and then it took me about another 45 minutes to get everything loaded up the way it needed to be loaded up for us to leave um we were out of there just before eight I got home right at 11 um it was their 10th anniversary show it was a really good show I really enjoyed it I do plan on doing it again next year when they open applications back up I probably am gonna stay in artist alley for next year so I hope to have the same spot that I had. I ended up enjoying my spot because I got to talk to so many people who may not have come through and stopped at my booth, but did because when they came out of the cafe, they were just right there in your face. I will say that I had to smell the cafe all day, both days, and I was hungry. I was hungry. <laughs> but yeah, I got a bunch of great things. Let me see. I got a bunch of great things. I showed some of them off. 
So I showed off my new hair sticks, my Edgar Allan Ho. Um, I said cauldron door, by the way, in the thing, and it's um, I'd tap that chamber door. So I have got a picture of her her shop information. I will put it right here so that you can see the shop because I don't remember the name. But this is my second pair of hair sticks from her. Let's see. I showed you the necklace I traded for the mushroom. I just thought that that was fun. My new friend Lisa, whose booth I showed you, gave me this F-bomb. So, check that out. We got an F-bomb, which is going to go right here on my desk. Um, and then my booth neighbor got a cup from me. And I grabbed a few goodies from them as well. Let's see. Oh, I got flowered. Uh, somebody walked by and gave me a flower. How cute is that? So we got a flower. Rainbow Jesus. Rainbow Jesus gave me um, a pride thing. Well, his wife gave me a pride rub uh, rubber bracelet. Um, and then M Meteoria. Meteoria Studio was my booth neighbor, and I got this little cute wizard pen. I gotta figure out how to do this. I got this cute little wizard pen, and then I got this gnome throwing up a rainbow pen, which was super cute. And then I got this cow. I got this cow, um, actual pen pen, which I thought was super cute as well. So, I think that is pretty much all of my little goodies from the trip. Um, I definitely recommend South Carolina Comic Con. It was, it was nice. It was a great show. I enjoyed the crap out of it. And, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the convention vlog. We did good. We hit our goals. I'm happy. Um, put whatever bird emojis you can in the comments down below. We are at 995 as of my recording this right now. So that is freaking awesome. We're about to monetize this channel. Um, yeah, for the Raven and the the uh, Edgar Allan Ho hair sticks, let's put some birdies down in the comments. I love your faces so much. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get this bitch monetized. Give us a like if you found this video helpful. Ding your notification bells to inform each and every time I upload new content. I love your faces. Besties, I will see you in the next video. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, bye.